They start missing you when you change this one thing about yourself. It works even if they stop talking to you. After almost five years into manifesting, I found it to be the easiest way to manifest them fast without overcomplicating. I know there is tons of information present on YouTube and on numerous websites that talk about manifesting your specific person. There is lots of content that people consume in order to understand how to manifest their specific person. Sometimes, this overload of information makes manifesting appear to be an overcomplicated process. While it is not, it is so easy and straightforward that anyone can do it, and that too effortlessly. You can manifest many things in your life, and manifesting them to miss you can also be done. If you are ready to know the simplistic approach to making them miss you, then devote your next 8 minutes to this video. By the end of this video, you will know the most effortless way to make it happen in your reality. So, if you clicked on this video, then I assume that you are in no contact with a person that you want to manifest. Probably they have stopped talking to you. This makes you feel unpleasant. Internally, you think and feel about all kinds of limitations and negative thoughts. You think that you cannot have them, but you are wrong. There are countless people who have manifested their persons. But it does not even mean that everyone is successful with it. There are other people who criticize these teachings because they didn't get what they wanted. It happened because they failed to understand what Neville Goddard taught in his books and lectures. They failed to recognize the law. Either they were involved in seeking quick fixes to a really deep issue that they have or they were too lazy to try what Neville has taught in his lectures. Even some of them misinterpreted the law because internally they had this thought that it cannot be this easy. But I don't want you to be one of them. I want you to prosper in every area of life. You are not limited to only one relationship and that one person, your life is a grand festival. But, since today's topic is about making them miss you, then I will teach you what it takes to make them miss you. So, listen to me carefully because I want to ask you, why do you miss someone? If you understand the answer to this question, then you will recognize how you can make another miss you. Think for a minute, why do you miss someone? Well, as per my experience, you miss someone because you think that they are valuable. You think they are better than the people around you. You think that their fart smells like roses. You think that once you have them in your life, everything will change, isn't it? So, the core reason for missing someone is because you think that they are valuable. Am I right? I know some of you have never looked at it in this manner. So, if you miss someone because you think that they are valuable, then in order for them to miss you, you have to assume yourself to be valuable. This is common sense, but many people don't think in this manner. All they do is seek a quick fix, like burning a bay leaf or writing something on a piece of paper and burning it. But my approach is not to share quick fixes. It is about changing your core beliefs about yourself. It is because of our core beliefs that we function in a certain manner. It is because of our core beliefs that we think, act, and feel in a certain way. Now, recognizing this is just a first step. Next, you have to start changing these beliefs about yourself. But, before I proceed, I know some of you will think, well, if I change my beliefs, then how would my desire manifest in my reality? I have an answer for that. The answer is from Neville Goddard's book, where he says, Daring to assume that all things are possible to imagine. Put this one reality to the extreme test by assuming you are the person you would like to be. Your reasonable mind and outer senses may deny it, but I promise you, if you persist, you will receive your assumption. When you persist in a story, when you persist in an assumption, when you believe about something, then it becomes a fact in your reality. Also, your imagination creates your reality. Many of you here are not fully aware of this principle that imagination creates reality. Also, you assume that you are someone who is powerless and cannot get what they want. You think that you don't have the power to change your reality, and therefore it keeps you stuck in this loop where you are trying to manifest your desired reality. You would be shocked when you realize that trying to get your manifestation is only keeping your manifestation away from you. Yes, when you are trying to get it, then you are implying that you don't have it, and when you don't have it, then you don't manifest it. It is not like you are not persisting because when you are saying that you are trying to manifest it, then it implies that you are persisting in the state of trying, which simply means you are persisting in the state of not having it. So, first of all, stop trying to get what you want, embody the feeling of having it. Embody the state of consciousness where you have it. There are infinite states of consciousness that you can choose from. You can think of them as garments. Like, you have infinite choices of clothes that you can wear. All these clothes are different, and you wear them on different occasions. Like you don't wear a tuxedo on a beach. Also, you don't wear swimwear to your office. At your marriage, you don't come in a two-piece lingerie. All these clothes have some relevance at relevant places, and that is how they give you different outcomes. So, let's come back to the point. Now, I was telling you that your state of consciousness is like clothes, and they give you different outcomes. So, be mindful of which state of consciousness you are embodying. For the other person to miss you, you have to embody a state of consciousness where you are valuable. 
You have to wear the garment that makes you feel valuable. Right now, the problem that you have is that you are wearing a tuxedo in hot weather on a beach or you are wearing that swimwear to the office. You have to wear that tuxedo to an event and that swimwear to the beach. In other words, you are embodying a lower state of consciousness where the other person is seeing you as an option because you are in a way reflecting that you are not important and valuable. Like, no one takes a person who wears swimwear to their office seriously. In the same way, when you embody a particular state of consciousness, it reflects to everyone in your reality. How many times a day do you consider yourself to be valuable? Like, at your job, do you see yourself as a valuable employee who is contributing to the growth of that company? Or are you just like a commodity who can be easily replaced by another? In social gatherings, do you consider yourself someone who adds some value by being there or just another visitor who doesn't hold any significance? While there will be many events where you don't add some sort of value, I am not asking you to do anything physically. It is all about mindset. It is all about mentality. Like when you talk to someone, in your mind you have to be like, I am valuable and I am adding some sort of value in their life. I am investing my time. I am investing my energy. I am investing my emotions. And I am investing my experiences by educating them. If you think like this, you would talk way differently than you talked to them before, and there would be a difference in your personality. You would start manifesting scenarios where you are considered as someone who is important and valuable, and that is how they will be scared of losing you. And once you get in no contact, they will start missing you. I know it sounds so simple and common, yet people lack this common sense. They remain in a hurtful state. They remain in a state of anger and think that it will hurt another. Like, they think that their state of sadness will make their specific person fall in their arms. You have to change your state of consciousness, and the best way to do it is to imagine. Imagine yourself as valuable. Imagine yourself as important. Imagine that everyone is lucky to have you in their life. Imagine that you light up every room that you walk into. Like everyone feels so good after meeting you that you are like a drug, and they become addicted if you stay in their life for some days. Don't try to change this world or anyone in it because it is only the mirror. Man's attempt to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing his face. Leave the mirror and change your face. Leave the world alone and change your conceptions of yourself. The reflection then will be satisfactory. So, stop trying to change your specific person if you want them to miss you. They have nothing to do with it. Everything that has to be done is with you. Everything that has to be done is by changing your state of consciousness. Dare to believe in the reality of your assumption and watch the world play its part relative to its fulfillment. Many of you are not believing in the reality of your assumption. Not for a single moment in your entire day you sleep on the assumption that you already have what you want. You don't even imagine having it. Either you imagine that you are going to get it or the ones who imagine having it. When they come out of that imagination they look at the external world and doubts start to arise in their mind due to which they start assuming the opposite scenarios and start persisting in them. When you imagine it once, it is not like it will appear in your reality at that very moment of time because you have a story that will remind you that you don't have it yet. By imagining it for a few times and a few days, this story will change, and this change will bring that desire into your reality. So, the best way to do it is to take out some time from your day. Only for just five minutes, imagine that you have what you want and do it three times a day. First, do it in the morning after waking up. Stop checking your phone as the first thing in the morning. Just imagine that you have what you want. Then in the afternoon, you imagine for five minutes that you already have what you want. Lastly, before falling asleep, imagine having what you want and falling asleep by imagining it. When you do this, you will notice a change in your mindset. You will notice your thoughts and feelings change. You will notice that your assumptions are changing, and this is how things will manifest in your reality. Now, I know that you have the knowledge to make it happen in your reality. But, still, if you want that push, then you can start using an affirmation tape. I have designed one such affirmation tape that you can watch by tapping on the first video that now appears on the screen.